Howdy counties. Hope you're going all right. It's weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been bloody busy again. We've got heaps more cool stuff this week. Lot number 185 there. You can't see it, but it's a nice little tanzanite, I think, and gold earring and pendant set. A nice little sterling silver chatelaine compact. Some nice big sterling silver spoons. Some nice postcards of Victorian scenes in Melbourne. Looks like St Kilda Pier or something on the top. A really nice big sterling silver berry spoon there with the ship finial. Uh, World War II, I think, uh, 1939 to 45 star medal with some extra ribbons and dog tags and stuff. Some nice markersite jewellery, little kangaroo brooches, cute. Some sort of Scottish silver. Some nice butterfly wing stuff over the back. Some coins mounted as pendants and brooches. There's lots of nice, nice little Japanese sterling silver teaspoon set. You got a men's Seiko chronograph in there and some other bits. Coins. And then these little guys. Fantastic little set. A little sort of 1950s uh, place sort of set stands. A little slot in the bases to put your little name. So you know where you're going to sit at the table. It is really cool, made in Hong Kong. And so we've got a great retro teak veneer bar with a bar stool to go with it. Got a cool 1970s retro Oslo twin prong lamp. And this is a nice bit, big black leather couch made by William Latchford and Sons, I think, for Knoll International. There's the label. All right, cool thing. It's a little bit of a tidy up here and there, but it's a nice big thing, quite comfortable. Almost fell asleep in it before. Old Amstrad computer. Got some more records, some old sort of pre 50 singles with the big holes through the middle. LPs, KLF single. Yes, yeah, so we got some cool clothes. Nice little group of dresses. Uh, this coat's nice, Christine Creations. This thing's pretty amazing. This sort of vintage, I've got to know, 1900 if not earlier. And sort of embroidered coat, house coat, opera coat, I don't know. And this Norman Hartnell dress again, pretty amazing bit, in great condition. I think he made dresses for the Queen, I think. What else have we got? Camera gear, a nice sort of banquet, hanging banquet or parlour lamp. Um, some more single records, big group, lot of mixed stuff. Uh, some good audio gear. Morants and the little UNICEF waterproof Walkman. These are cool. Sort of sunglass display. There you go. Glasses or sunglasses. What else have we got? Group lot unopened bottles and cans and stubbies of beer. You got signed Robert Harvey. And you got a little rocking horse which will help the beer go down. <laughs> Cameras and stuff. This is a nice telescope set in its box good big lot of magazines got ladies accessories scarves shawls and stuff all motoring gear heaps of badges jumper leads grease tin some old petrol station numbers ho gauge model railway tins and stuff more records more coins and medallions more jewelry it's a good little group lot of singles Pretty cool cat's eye, 50 sunglasses there, a la Dame Edna, Dame Edna Everidge. Postcards, Australian, heaps more coins and medallions and stuff in there. Um, good little lot of motoring stickers and so on patches. This is a nice lot of Beatles singles and EPs. The majority of them are in near mint condition. Haribo Bear, that's him. Big lot of books. Some concrete pedestals. And this one's had a bit of a chunk off the corner. Nice little sort of deco glazed auto trolley. There's other stuff down the back. What else have we got? Some big screen printing screens. Nice big church pew. Cutlery is pretty cool. Henri Winterman cigar case. Some tribal gear. We've got some good books. This is a good group lot. The Muppets, Norman Rockwell, Australian Stamp Yearbook, Royal Dalton Kingswear. 
A little lot of Biggles books, including first edition Biggles in Australia. What else do we got? Trios, big lot of dressing table, brushes, mirrors, candlesticks. Mix a lot of Australian themed books. What else have we got? Some more magazines and ephemera. It's a good lot of camera stuff. Other magazines and books. We've got some nice paintings. Frank Mutsayer's oil is really nice. The Collie, Collie Wh Wisson oil of Bondi Beach. Really nice little thing. Gunnar Krummens. Another Latvian group of artists. Nice Barbara Peak. Good old Ronnie Priestley, New Zealand painter. Nice example from what I've gathered. This little thing's nice as well. Sam, uh, little S. Smorgan, little Meldrum school piece, coastal sea in Italy. And the nice Aboriginal oil painting as well of the Wangina. Wangina. What else have we got? Art Deco and other lighting. You've got a nice old engraved map of Greece. Really nice frosted sort of deco or 50s mirror. It's a good box of costume jewellery and gear. Heaps of nice stuff. Some records. Nice little lot of clocks. The big carved tribal sort of club there on its mount or on its stand. You've got a nice ebony figure. Nice collection of glassware. I kind of like those with the step bases and they're also signed on the base as well. What else have we got? Big CPIC mask, good little lot of sort of retro gear. And the J.H. Lynch print over the back. The Boss Hyper Metal guitar pedal. Good lot of cassette tapes. Nick Cave tend to pray, but it looks to be a recorded cassette in there. But the rest of them are pretty good. Edgar Winter. And so we've got The Animals, Kiss, Max Q, Rolling Stones, Bad Company, Queen. That's pretty cool. The Dick Clark Picture Patches Iron On Patch. There you go. We've put that with the stars on, on, off the record book. Elvis Reel-to-Reel uh, -reel Tape, Quadraphonic one. Doll Books, Domestic Ceramics and sort of Melamine. Nice lot the blue glassware. Some little Matchbox die casts. A couple of cool old bar advertising signs. She can skull. And so we've got cool little retro lamp, a couple of nice little sort of 1980s portable cassette deck radio boombox things. There you go, we've got some scientific instrument in a box, the portable Wheatstone Bridge. Nice a lot of oriental ceramics, nice lot of Art Deco English sort of ceramics. Some oil lamps, a little mixed group lot there with the carnival glass and the, I think John Eagle pottery, she's nice, a little wall pocket. Nursery China. Ladro, Victorian, sort of another classical English. This little Ainsley trio is really cute. Cool retro light fitting. More cassette tapes and stuff. Good collection of cards and ephemera. Some good stuff in amongst here. Close Encounters, Batman cards. Uh, some little tribal carved wooden stone. Uh, There's a good little lot of books and magazines with the show card and ticket writing book. Nice old Williamson program as well, real art deco. Scottish kilt pins and stuff. Cool little lot of novelty gnomes and things like that. And a little Japanese fish tank. Little fish tank ornament. Carved wooden and stone items. Kitsch plates. Um, ashtrays and cigarette lighters. Some more Ladro. More Matchbox. More Ladro, more Matchbox, David Bowie, more Matchbox. <laughs> what else have we got? Oriental, there's a good set. The Patterns of Fashion from 1560, I think, through to 1940, the three volumes. you got the Ramrods LP. Got a good lot of sort of R&B records down the bottom. Bit of disco funk. Ladro, some, I think some German World War II Bonds. Interesting little lot of sort of deco and Victorian beaded stuff and other ephemera and gear, linen, blue glass perfume bottles, some nice crystal decanters, big triang trucks, pretty cool, Royal Albert trios, Australian pottery, Ladro, Ladro, nice little green glass drink set, great little group of retro ceramics, you've got the Japanese cake set and these two other plates as well. Beatles Abbey Road with the unusual sort of little red stain on the road there. 
Apparently it's the, the bloody road or something. It's got a name. I've never seen it before. Uh, more Ladro, more Ladro. Some nice retro, Braymore Carstens over the back and the other little vase. And we've got some good stuff down the bottom here. The two books, Rolling Stock, Victorian Railways. There you go. So these are reproductions of the originals from 1904 to 25. The Bibby's annuals are pretty cool. Got really nice colour sort of woodblock print covers and backs. They're really quite nice. Great retro clock. Nice little Diana lamp. There you go, the Golden Fleece Boomeroo petrol tanker. No, it's not the same one, it's another one. Um, nice little set of three retro Diana mixing bowls. Great book on Josephine Baker. Another nice bit of Ladro. Good little group of Browdy Downing. I think the little drummer has got been damaged and glued back together, but the other three look to be pretty good. Lovely croc, croc skin bag. This is a great big book on Australian chivalry. Uh, I think it's produced after World War I, sort of featuring Australian war artists and what they painted and what they did and saw and stuff. She's fantastic. Little wall bust there. She's great with her little leopard, leopard print sort of throw. Really nice old barometer. Nice pair of carved stone um, temple lines. Fantastic book, Jungle Doctor Attacks Witchcraft. And that's a great bit, the Pearson's Road Guide to New South Wales. Big fold-out map. About, what, 1920 or something like that, if not a bit earlier. Little collection of art glass. This big vase is signed Forest. Two nice bits of Ladro. Another nice lot of Shelley trios. And we've got some nice gear up the top. You've got Ginger Baker's Air Force 2 album. Nice little collection of Barsoni-style figures. I think they're mainly made in Japan. Couple of really nice Diana vases with that textured salt glaze. Lovely bit of Alan Lowe. Another nice Diana lamp. John Campbell, two more unusual Ladro figures. And you've got the nice big Reg Preston Australian pottery littered jar with all the hand decorated scraffito and decorated Aboriginal motifs. Little platypus handle on top's really cool. And yeah, there's some other stuff, but I can't show you anything. Then you wouldn't have any surprises. Hope you're all going good and see you guys tomorrow night. <laughs>